Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about the 10K stock portfolio, which I created just two weeks ago. There'll be a link up above here, so if you haven't seen it, go and check it out. It'll go through all the 10 stocks that we added the first Monday of February. So it's only been two weeks or running for two weeks now, but so far we're up 28%. So I wasn't going to make any updates for at least a month, but we've had one big mover. So I figured why not uh, post a quick video so that we can see how things are going. So let's jump into the computer, take a look at some of the numbers, and we'll have a little bit of an explanation as to which one has done well and which one has not. So let's take a look. So firstly, we can see we have Apple in there, very minor change up 1.2% for the week or for the two weeks. And then we have the ARK ETF, still doing well. I think it's on the back of Bitcoin at the moment. Tesla's been pretty flat, Square is up. so. That's the two main holdings within the ARK ETF. Uh, we have uh, next up Alibaba. Now Jack Ma has been back in the news once. He's been spotted playing golf somewhere. Um, so there's potential that this could start running again, which I think in my opinion, Alibaba is still very undervalued, assuming we don't run into any sort of regulatory changes or anything like that. Uh, next we have Lemonade. Um, again, done very well. Just been two weeks, stock's up 10%. Uh, Extremely happy with that. Uh, followed by Moderna, the vaccine rollout continues. Moderna's just signed a new contract with the US government for about 200 million doses. So their stock price is up 6% for the couple of weeks. Microsoft, um, again, one of the big cap guys, uh, it's up 4.2%. It's up 4 so big jumps on a lot of these uh, large cap stocks. Apple though has been quite flat. Uh, next we have NEO, um, that's just hovering around uh, that mark at the moment. I don't think we'll see too much movement on this for a little while until we start seeing some numbers come out um, of the, uh, some numbers come out of China on their manufacturing. And next we have Pfizer. This, this guy just, just doesn't want to go anywhere. I, it's uh, it's a, bit, a little bit hard to believe really because they're also signing large contracts. Moderna's jumping but Pfizer's just staying flat or even down a touch. They're definitely down from where they were when the vaccine was announced. So a little bit surprised about that. Uh, Palantir off, it's worst performing off 10%. Um, there's been a few contracts signed for them actually. So I've, they were looking quite strong for a little while there, um, but just jumping around a lot. They're quite volatile, still fairly new to the market. So people are just sort of working out what value or what a fair value is for that stock. And then lastly, we have the top performer of the portfolio now. When I made the first video, I mentioned that this stock has potential for going crazy or uh, potential for getting absolutely destroyed. So it's a very risky play, I guess. Um, it turns out it's gone in our favor up 253% in two weeks. Um, they, they're, quite, uh, they're very closely tied to uh, Bitcoin and other cryptocurrency related products. So this one is definitely benefiting on the back of that. Um, and they've also started to roll out a few of their products um, through the Humble financial platform. Um, so they've li listed a couple of, uh, they've listed some indexes for um, cryptocurrencies in about a hundred different countries. So people are starting to get excited about that, but it's uh, currently trading at 130 now. It did peak at 190 um, throughout last week. So it's come off a bit from its absolute high, but. Again, we just need to be careful with something like this because it, it definitely could be one of those stocks that's getting pumped um, up or it's getting inflated quite strongly, um, but it could come down just as quickly. So we'll keep an eye on it. We may make some changes uh, throughout the following or throughout the, the upcoming weeks. Um, and we may look to close that position if it starts getting a little bit higher and just lock in what we've got there. So overall, you can see we're up um, $2,800 thereabouts or 28%. So pretty good returns for two weeks work. So I'll keep you updated as we go. And uh, if there's any updates or if we look to close or open any new positions, um, or post a video so you can follow along. So don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button if you enjoy the content and we'll see you in the next video.